Today, we're going to talk about a perfect beach holiday destination, Algarve, Portugal. It is no surprise that Portugal's Algarve is one of Europe's most popular holiday destinations, with its mild climate tempered by the Atlantic, soft sandy beaches, delectable cuisine, and breathtaking coastal scenery. People also reside in mountains here, where they share their traditions and live in harmony with each other. The endless number of beautiful beaches are the main reason for visiting Algarve. From protected caves with limestone caves to long, sweeping white sand bays, there's something for every beach lover. But there's a lot more to do here aside from all that sun worshiping, and we're here to tell you what that is. So let's take a look at the top five things you can do while in Algarve besides resting on a beach. Number five, Cape St. Vincent. You'll be standing on the southwesternmost point in Europe at this Cape in Sagres. The Cape of St. Vincent is a unique blend of natural beauty, culture, and folklore. Walking around here is itself a very serene experience because you'll be struck by the enormity of nature. From the ancient navigators to the Cape's legends and myths, the Cape has always been linked to the sea. From St. Vincent to Henry the Navigator, there is a lot to learn. The Cape of St. Vincent and its environments are one of the few places in the world where geography, wild but majestic nature, and historical factors combine to create a mythical dimension. As a result, you'll find yourself in a magical setting. Beyond its historical significance, the location is breathtaking, with cliffs rising 75 meters above the sea and cinematic views of the rocky seascapes to the north and east, as well as Sagres Point. The ocean off the Cape has seen many naval battles, and there is a lighthouse here, built in 1846. A protective wall runs along the edge of the rocky plateau, providing spectacular views of the coast and the ocean. This is an excellent spot for some photography. On Wednesday afternoons, the lighthouse and museum are open to the public. So if you have the opportunity to come see the lighthouse, take advantage of it. It will be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Number four, dolphin watching. Ocean boat trips are advertised at all of the main marinas along the Algarve. There is deep sea fishing, but dolphin spotting is an unforgettable experience. The ocean off the coast of the Algarve is home to a large number of common and bottlenose dolphins, ensuring a successful expedition. The creature's inquisitive nature makes this easier, and before you know it, pods of up to 50 will be keeping you company. A lot of people bring along a marine biologist to learn more about the dolphins' habits and physiology. You can also run out boats or take guided tours and cruise along the Algarvian coastline to witness these friendly dolphins. It's also a very convenient way because that way you'd be sharing the same space with a very few people so you can have this moment all to yourself. Number three, roaming around Lagos Old Town. The historical center of Lagos is a delight to explore. You should take your time to explore it and not rush through it on your way to the beach. It is surrounded by large sections of its old walls, which were built on top of much older Moorish defenses in the 1500s. Lagos was the capital of the Agarve between the 16th and 18th centuries, as evidenced by the town museum, which houses hundreds of years of artifacts, including coins dating back to the 4th century. Different types of fortifications surround Old Town Lagos, which highlight the significant aspects of its identity, of which the symbol elements reflect historical events and battles it has faced over the years. Because Catholicism was one of the main religions at the time, it has a lot of churches from different eras, especially after King Dynas made it mandatory for everyone to be Christian and built several cathedrals across his kingdom. Other notable structures, such as Isaac Abob's synagogue, can be found on St. Catherine Street, which also houses the majority of the churches. The rest of your time can be spent simply strolling through the narrow cobblestone streets, passing by historic buildings such as the 15th century slave market, since Lagos was once the center of Europe's slave trade. And the presence of these romantic buildings makes strolling the only convenient option for exploring the town. Number two, Tavira Island. 
a few meters off the coast of Tavira is this long, narrow barrier island. You can get there by boat from the city's marina and nearby Quattro Guas, or by crossing the bridge at St. Luisa and catching a summer tourist train. They stretch for 11 kilometers and are characterized by a large swath of white sand bordered by dunes. The island, which is covered in a protected wasteland, is home to an incredible ecosystem and a stopover point for migrating birds traveling between Europe and Africa. Apart from that, Tavira Island has beautiful beaches. The Algarve has plenty, but the ones on the barrier islands are among the most beautiful. The blue flag beaches on Tavira Island are out of this world, even by Algarve standards. All of the facilities of a tourist beach can be found on both Tavira and Barrel beaches. There is, however, space for those seeking tranquility along many kilometers between the beaches and past Barrel Beach. Bring a blanket, a picnic lunch, and a shade parasol if this sounds like you, and walk along the beautiful beach until you find the perfect spot. This is also the Algarve's calmer coast, where the waves are too calm to attract surfers, making it ideal for families looking for a relaxing day at the beach. Another one of the coolest things to do on Tavira Island is to see the unique Anchor Cemetery on Barrel Beach. There are a few places in Portugal that are truly unique, and this is one of them. These anchors placed anonymously next to each other on the sand dunes behind the beach now represent the long-gone tuna fishing culture that was once so prevalent in this part of Algarve. This is without a doubt one of the most unusual attractions in the Algarve. Number 1. Naturally Eroded Benegal Caves On the Algarve coast, the Benegal Sea Cave is a stunning natural wonder that was created by natural erosion. The cave is located on Portugal's southern coast and can be accessed by boat, kayak, or a stand-up paddleboard. The Algar de Benegal is a large dome cave with an impressive size. The cave's wide expanse is visible from the cave's entrance channel. Above the head, the cave ceiling is very high. The sun shines through the dome's natural apertures and openings, casting a magical glow on the fine golden sand that is constantly cleaned and the translucent water. The vastness of nature's beauty will make you feel like both a ruler of the universe and a helpless human. While the cave appears to be not far from the village's main Benegal Beach, swimming around the cave to look at it is not recommended. Because the currents in this area can be very strong and tides change quickly, it is best to board one of the many boats if you want to enjoy the cave safely. If you want to do something a little different to get into the cave, you can always hire a stand-up paddleboard to take you there and to other caves along this stretch of the Algarve coastline. The cave has always been beautiful, but it has recently become a worldwide internet sensation. A Google search yields half a million results, and photos of the incredible cave can be found all over the internet. You can also do plenty of other activities here, from trying out Portuguese cuisine to going shopping in local markets. If you haven't seen Portuguese ceramics before, you should. The designs are a mix of traditional and modern crafts that come in a variety of colors and patterns. You can also purchase some gifts for your friends back home or get a set of tablecloths for your own home, however you like. Let us know in the comments below what you liked the most about Algarve. And as always, where to next?